Hello out there in YouTube land. It is Isaac with two A's. Two of them things. Not four. Two. <laughs> Back at it again with another video. Today's video, we are watching Black and TM models getting misjudged for four minutes. So true. This is coming from uh, Cam K's. Thank you for providing this video for me to react to. Um, yeah. I mean, it was harsh for everyone at hand. I can only imagine what it was like behind the scenes if we were getting the craziness on the screen. But for the black models, especially Miss Yaya Acosta, I don't know if that scene is gonna be on here, but I know the screenshot or like the thumbnail was um, Takara. She went through it. She deserved to go much farther than she did, but she was fed up by the end of it. And but let's see the the madness. Let's see how triggered we shall be watching this. Let's go. Yeah, college. It's rough. It's it can be rough. Yeah. 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 Here is your best shot. Looking good here, girlfriend. I wasn't this is sure what I'm would talking I ever about. Be able to be so soft, and this picture looks more innocent. Mm, it's really beautiful. Let's see your unretouched photo. You have to work on the skin. You drink more water. Water, water, water. You can get there. But it's gonna take some work. It's amazing. Gotta pause it right here because Miss Ma'am has a show on Fox. She was on. She was on. What is that movie? Tron Legacy. She was like the. If we really want to be honest, the women of color on the show, since the show ended, they were the most visible. They were the ones that I was seeing on television on print, media, like, let's be honest. I like your hair a lot. Girl, there's nothing on your I mean, a little bit of blue on top, but that's it. You have to put on more makeup as a woman of color. Our skin is reflect the light. Here is your best. So why didn't y'all provide it then? Overall, this picture is just bland. You look like a deer in the headlights in this picture. Perfect almond shape eyes. There's nothing coming behind it. Let's see your unretouched shot. It's like a Hitchcock film. Go back and forth. Back she was a very pretty. She was. She did have some like insecurities on the show, but she was very, very pretty. What are you feeling right now, Kelly? You look. It's very shocking to see it like this. The people that usually see my skin tell me that I have beautiful skin. I know that there are times when my eyes are very intense. But if it was intense and better than this, they would have chosen this shot. I know. That's. Yeah. You cannot place the blame on someone else. I'm not no, yes, you I, are. Right now, you're not growing. Take it, all the criticism we give you and use it constructively and be empowered by it and walk away and go, okay, now I know what to do. If you walk out of here and say the photographer chose the wrong picture, you don't grow. Right. Okay, she so has gorgeous skin right now, so I really don't know. That was on the photographer. I don't know. They messed that up. For the judges to see that for themselves. The five of us here represent... Because literally, they only had fixed her eyebrows. ...by the name of House of Je ne sais quoi. We want you to tell us. I really why like the ladies from this season. To be our Mainly because they went girl. to Japan. Welcome to the house of. She had really pretty eyes, this lady right here. And when they iced out her hair, fabulous. Loved when they made her a redhead. How does it make you feel? I don't know what and they did to her hair. Mysterious. And it's so unique and it's super, She was like, fine. This is something you'd like to wear. Miss um, Eva the Diva. I mean, that wouldn't be my everyday dress, but I would definitely rock it. I see a, a petit bouton. Do you have a little skin problem? Just a little? It's a menstrual breakout. Ah! Yes! I want my niece to live inside my house with me. I would be honored to live with you, of course. We all live. Yeah, I find that, I mean, I find that a little odd. I'm not, not gonna lie to you. If this campaign is really a big campaign for you, why not make it larger? Miss Takara! see with you, it larger than life. She was fun. And I feel like they just broke her down. <laughs> My favorite, favorite shot. passion behind the eyes. It always goes back to the eyes for me. This is not personal enough to be top model. It's just not. I'm so sorry. Mind you, Mr. Carr, if I'm not mistaken, was on Korean Vogue. You can't tell me this shot. She's not 
eating it up. It's kind of giving Megan, Meg, Meg the Stallion. Like, it kind of is. Like, come on now. This was my that favorite photo shot. Gorgeous. You're giving it. Not more, really, darling. Really, really, really. I wouldn't be platinum too. To car. She is a powerful individual. And in this shot, I don't think the passion is there. This is She's literally thing. supposed to be like the poor person, like giving the wealthy person their keys. What are you? How how do you portray poor and fabulous? I don't I don't understand. <laughs> and they had pinched her or something like when they were seeming like her thing. She I think she was just over it that day. But um, I know you got to come prepared and ready to work. But like I feel like that's how she felt. <laughs> When she had to do that. Slim down 150 pounds. That would be good. Then she'd be 30 pounds. That would be better. America's next top model. It's ludicrous. She would... It will never be top model. The things that you guys say are the same things people said about Kate. She's so short. She never had a top model that tiny. The car is out. And she's still working. Good part of Yaya is um, she's got a great personality. Yaya looks beautiful. She's being filmed. The, the camera certainly loves her. Yaya, extremely disappointed to me today. I felt that she should. I don't even know who he is. He looks like uh, the dude with the glasses. He looks like one of Austin Powers' villains. Like he would have like a dog with him, like a little teacup dog with him. Like who are you? And she didn't even pull it together with that. And I feel like a little bit of it pompous. That's tastes nasty now. So that was um, Black America's Next Time Models getting misjudged for four minutes. They didn't even show the clip that I thought was like the worst, where it was like some stylist or something was coming at Yaya about her blackness and it was real ignorant and she looked and this was a white stylist or whomever she was and she just sounded real ignorant um and they were upset yeah yeah you know she was an educated girl she went to I don't know if it was brown or wherever, but I mean, hey, she was book smart and, you know, they were probably threatened by that. So, at the time, like, I didn't realize how problematic America's Next Time Model was because I was just like, oh my gosh, fashion and transformations and makeovers and all that stuff. But like, outside of all the glitz and glam like they were trying these women and these were young women like as young as 18 so like to be traumatized and triggered at such an early age when you didn't necessarily have to be and i don't care what people are saying when it's like well it's what you signed up for da, da, da. no you don't you don't sign up for mistreatment you know, you're signing up for an experience, but but yes, I hope you guys liked my commentary reaction to this. Um, if you guys want me to re react to more America's Next Top Model stuff, I can. I can go on and on and on about America's Next Top Model again because I watched each and every episode of America's Next Top Model. Some seasons I've watched multiple times, so definitely um, can watch more if you guys are interested in it. Um, and I will be coming back with other content. I apologize if the energy is low today, but it's like cold outside and I'm hungry. I haven't eaten anything yet. So don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.